NCIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. This is the National Football League. and the Chicago Bears. With a December snow blanketing much of the Midwest and Northeast, what a perfect time to be in the Sunshine State as we welcome you to TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. Jacksonville. Keelan Cole now to return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. The Here's the Jaguars offense for the first time with Gardner Minshew, a Washington State product, leading the way. I know that people like him and he's kind of a phenomenon in the league as Gardner Minshew, but I'm not sure he gets enough credit for how well he plays the game of football at the quarterback spot. Remember, he was a six round pick and a surprise six-round pick at that. More than held his own as a rookie after Nick Foles' broken clavicle, forced him onto the field in the second quarter of week one. The Jaguars went six and six with him as a starter in 12 opportunities. Now they've got a chance to continue to progress and move forward with Gardner Minshew leading their team. Eluding the pressure right, and now he's gonna use his legs. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception. Looking to throw again on second down. Minshew, he's got his tight end, O'Shaughnessy. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. From the gun, Minshew to throw. This one complete to the tight end, O'Shaughnessy. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. Taken in at the 22. Illegal block in the back. Return team. They ain't on And that negates a pretty decent punt return. And the goal is to gain a first down on a punt return, which is 10 yards. This was much more than that, but it is going to come back due to the illegal block in the back. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. 
Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Montgomery, the Bears ball carrier. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight, Trubisky. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And able to find Graham, complain. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. First down Bears. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. Number and he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the shotgun is Trubisky. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 41-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Out of the gun, Trubisky throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. That'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now it's Trubisky, and he finds his tight end, Graham. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Trubisky now to throw on third down. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of four there and gives him a new set of downs. Montgomery. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And this will be caught by Mooney. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Down Bears. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Trubisky will throw. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. From the five, second and four. Montgomery back to the ground. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. A five-yard touchdown run. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Eddie, Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7 nothing in favor of the Bears. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Beginning the drive here with Armstead. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Out of the gun is Minshew. On the slant, this is Chark. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
11 more on that one and another first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 47. Here's Minshew. This one complete over the middle to O'Shaughnessy. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 19 yards there on the catch and run. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. At the 29 yard line. down. It's Thompson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Minshew sets to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting, pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive in total eight plays, and it culminates in a Jags touchdown. Turn. Here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 20. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. 
He'll buy some time right. He'll try and run it. He'll have a first. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Jags grab it. And some space here. Trubisky on the keeper. All right, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. First down, it's Thompson. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 27, Minshew. That one complete. He finds Sharp. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Minshew. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Jags are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. First and goal at the five-yard line. It'll be Minshew again to Thompson on the screen. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away. Throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Throwing again on second down. Minshew. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Gardner Minshew on target to DJ Chark. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Lambo on for the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A drive that time of six plays. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. Now it's Patterson. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 30 yard now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Trubisky to throw. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. They come up second and ten. Now Trubisky. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Trubisky, he'll find Miller, that's complete. Trubisky and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. First down, Trubisky. That's complete to Mooney. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in this last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report. We saw a terrific first half for the second-year quarterback. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We get back underway to start this second half. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears set to begin their next drive. His feet, what he's been able to do individually running the ball, it's kind of kept him in this game. No doubt about it, because if he's not making the plays that we've seen, they are really getting blown out in this one. I don't think they have any chance at all. He's keeping them in striking distance, hoping to get some help from the defensive side of the ball so that maybe some of these plays can turn into plays that maybe put them in the lead. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that, was, that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Trubisky. That is caught by Cohen. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Five yards on the pickup. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. He completes this into the hands of Miller, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Complete two An effective seven-yard third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the carry, it's Montgomery. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 
The throw complete, Trubisky to Miller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards on the play, first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And left side here, it's Graham. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. But plays like that, Charles, no doubt, they're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Well, Allen Robinson now with the Bears, but he spent the first four of his NFL seasons in a Jaguar uniform, and you might remember he had the breakout year in 2016 where he had 80 catches for 1,400 yards and a league-leading 14 touchdown receptions. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. He can run for it, and he will. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big-time play. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Second and nine. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 18. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On oh, the option, Trubisky. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. Now a second down and six. Now it's Trubisky. He's going to take off with it. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 
Six yards on the pickup, and this long drive is going to continue as they move the chains again. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. course with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal throwing here Trubisky he'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble and it's second down so many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play looks like that discipline came to the front there didn't it they were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running Second and goal from inside the five. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. His pass caught at the four. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Roughing the passer defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Their own 23-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember... This offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Minshew going to lead up the Jaguars first and 10 at their own 23. He'll throw from the gun. Into double coverage and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Trubisky on the keeper. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. The quarterback run has eaten him up all game long. And there he goes again, this time into the end zone. And what I like about what I'm seeing, absolutely running 
almost with impunity. He's not worried about his body. He's not worried about sliding. He's not worried about protecting himself. He's worried about getting yardage. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got to start figuring out what these blocking schemes are and finding ways to defeat them. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25. The Gardner Minshew and the Jags ready to go on offense once again. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll throw right away. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Minshew, he's got it complete to Thompson. And they'll get him down here at the 23. To Chris Thompson. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and 12. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Out of the gun is Minshew. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. They're going to try and keep Hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that is incomplete. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that one that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Six figures every year, yeah, earn that. At the front of this line is where my On first and ten, it's Trubisky. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. From the 17, here's second and four. Trubisky will throw. And that one 
one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. The Bears on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and four. That's caught by Montgomery. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will extend their lead even further. 27, Jaguars 14. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. See if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Minshew going to lead up the Jaguars first and 10 at their own 24. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Minshew throwing on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And no, it's incomplete. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for the strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance.
They'll run on first down. It's Montgomery. David Miles Jack there to make the tackle. The tackle made by Miles Jack. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 19-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Montgomery on the counter, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. The Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Now it's Trubisky. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Trubisky. And a tough spot to drop that down here third and goal. And so many times when you analyze a play like this, you talk about the people around him and maybe his focus was gone. Sometimes just simply him understanding how close he is to the end zone and a chance to score, and he tightens up and doesn't complete the play. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This from 25 yards out. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. Jaguars 14. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Pat O'Donnell. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. But here again comes Gardner Minshew. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they've made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. Have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? Rocking and rolling. They came out and made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Throwing on first down is Minshew. 
And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Boom with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Minshew. This one complete to the tight end, O'Shaughnessy. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out partner Charles Davis and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.